Let's try this again, shall we? Round two, trying to get a streaming PC. Roll that sh Now, as pretty much everybody's aware, I've been trying to PC game. I've been trying to get a streaming rig for, bro, what feels like an eternity. It feels like an eternity when you're spending this amount of money and you haven't gotten your shit yet that you paid for. I've been trying to get a streaming rig since last November. We are now on February. And it's well documented on the channel, on my Twitter, that, yo, I went with CyberPower PC first. Needless to say, well, maybe not needless to say, but watch the other video about CyberPower at PC if you want like a full in-depth explanation of what was going on. At least if I can just give you the gist of the story, their customer service is atrocious. Worst customer service I have ever experienced in my life. But we're not gonna be bashing CyberPower PC right here because this is all about the new company that I went through and the new experience. And, and, and I'm trying to I'm trying to wipe that memory from my mind about pre-built computers so that way I could give this company, NZXT, a chance. Let me just tell you already, already what is different compared to the last experience that I had. The ordering process was mad simple. This computer, I ordered it on a Friday night at like 10 p.m. Before I woke up on Monday, it, I already had a tracking number. It was already en route to me. It took the other PC builder a whole five weeks to build the PC. I, I ordered it. They didn't even charge me right there. They waited two weeks to charge my card. I got this build from NZXT in a faster time frame than they actually charged my card with the last order so far at least in terms of my customer experience like it, it is flawless order a pc friday spent forty five hundred dollars of patreon money once again patreon i love y'all for allowing me to do this and i love y'all for the opportunity to go full time and even buy this computer by no means was this a shitty computer or a cheap purchase i went all the way balls to the balls to a particular wall with it and we are here. I'm trying to get a stream up and running and I'm trying to get everything going that Patreon allows. If you're someone who's watching this video and wants to have like a say or you wanna have some type of like feeling that you are doing something for the greater good, consider clicking the Patreon link down in the description. Patreon is literally the only reason I am full-time on YouTube. They supplemented my income whenever my job was trying to make me, like they were basically forcing me to delete my channel and Patreon was like, nah, we're gonna support you and support all your future endeavors because we wanna see you grow as a creator and we want this community to be everything that we know that it can be. So once again, Patreon, I really appreciate your support and y'all allowed this. But anyway, I digress. I was talking about the customer service experience Easy order process. Charge my card the same night. The, the fucking PC was sent the next business morning and it is now Thursday, February 4th and I have it here in the box. So that's basically what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna unbox this bad boy and psh, yo, I'm excited, I, I swear. I, I am praying, I'm praying that this experience goes so much more smoothly than the other one did. And I'll let you know what happened on the other one as we go. But let's get to unboxing. It even came, it even came with sound suppression for stream. Nah, I'm just kidding, this is just foam. I might use it for sound suppression, cause why not? It probably sounds better with this than the echo of the reverb. Let's just push this out from the back. That's what she said, oh shit. Did not expect that to happen. Kinda feel bad about that. It's a lot of, it's a lot of money that just fell over. Ugh. Flip it around. This is it. H710i. Boom. Quick start guide. Plug the shit in, turn it on. Basic as that. I have a shitload of peripherals that I just bought. For those that, I was gonna say for those that don't know, nobody knows other than my mods of what I bought peripheral rise. So let me go get those real quick so you can see. They gave me the option to install a capture card, but the capture card from Aver Media was like 300. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna go with the with the normal capture card that most people go with. So I bought it externally. Gonna plug that in myself. Logitech Wireless G Pro mouse. Logitech G915 TKL. All, all of this is basically top of the line shit. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, do it big. I'm assuming, obviously, power cable. Must remove foam from inside this PC. All right, another point that I wanna make. Let's see if the foam that they're talking about is what I think they're talking about. How does this come out? bad boys off. Obviously very well packaged, I would hope so. All right, so what I was gonna say, exactly what I was hoping for. This right here, must remove foam inside this PC. 
We inserted foam in case to protect graphics card during shipping, yada, yada, yada. But what I was going to say is that this is already another plus for NZXT because when I went through CyberPower, they charged extra. They charged an extra $30 to pack that foam in like that. Like this foam is protecting all of the main components. The graphics card in here by itself is $2,000. So that's already another customer service plus. They're not making me pay on top of the fact that I paid $2,000 for the graphics card. They're like, oh, it's a no brainer. Help, let, we'll protect this for you, you know? Now let's take the foam out and we can get the full aesthetics of everything. I'll actually need those boxes later for a little DIY project I got. All right, so this isn't just something that you can just slide off. I thought that the glass was like that. It actually has this little lever, this little latch right here. Untie that, boom, and it just pops off like that. Gotta be as careful as possible. What happens is they put this in there and it's like a bag filled with this foam and then they inflate the foam so it like surrounds like a cast. Oh, look how sexy that looks. GeForce RTX right there, graphics card, liquid cooled right there, the CPU. Let me take this off. Oh, satisfying. Hey, y'all wanna see something super satisfying real quick? You already know what I'm about to do. If you don't know what I'm about to do, you've never opened electronics before then. Let's peel this off. Oh, Jesus. That satisfaction right there, it's up there with sex and taking a nice sh Can we just take a look and appreciate how nice this case is? This is all like ventilated right here. It looks like it's just straight black, but these are actually holes. And then just one side glass panel. NZXT, I'm assuming this is gonna light up, but I could be wrong. The only thing that I kept from the CyberPower purchase, only thing that I kept was the two monitors. I have two exact same monitors, probably went overkill. I think they're one, they're 1440p. That's good for the gaming monitor, but for like just the just the display monitor to edit and to like watch chat, overkill, but I wanted matching, you know, aesthetics, it matters. So this Logitech Pro mouse, it is their, it's their second flagship or it was the original flagship mouse. So yeah, this mouse right here on sale, I got it on sale at Best Buy, but normally runs you about 130. Lightspeed Hero, I don't know if you can see, it's 16,000 DPI, zero filtering, zero smoothing, zero acceleration, 80 grams. Says all that right there in the uh, in the shiny against the matte black. Whoo, there you go. Again, packaging matters when you're spending $150 or $130 on a mouse. I don't want that shit to look like shit. Not, oh, yo, how can a mouse get any lighter than this? This is light, this is super light. Again, satisfying moment. Woo! Let's turn this on. Is it powered? There you go. Of course it's got the RGB. Why would it not, baby boy? We're talking about gaming over here, you know? Now this right here, this keyboard. I wanted a little extra. I splurged on this bad boy. This keyboard was not cheap. This keyboard was 200, 200 and $240, $230. Basically, I paid more for the keyboard and the mouse than if I just bought a brand new PS5. Computer gaming is mad expensive if you want to do it right. Yo. Let's open this. I didn't even know that there were different kind of switches in terms of like uh, like the type of keys, the way they act. Do you want it to be really clicky? Do you want it to be really light? Do you want it to be soundless? Do you want to have like a tactile feel like you're clicking through something? These are the things you don't think about as an Apple user because you get just the one option, you know? Which is fine with me because I don't want to have all these options. I just want my shit to work. <sighs> pull up just like on, just like Apple products, they have that little pull tab. Pull up on this, it lifts it out. Yo, this keyboard is not light. This feels like two and a half pounds, almost three pounds, maybe. And, and it's a slightly more than a kilogram for all the internationals. Yo, fully metal. Can y'all see like that brushed metal look? I don't know if you can see it. And then the keys. Oh my God. So satisfying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all set up, at least with the peripherals and power and I'm un unboxing everything. This is the moment of truth. If we can get past this, and if we can get past setting the screens up, then we've gotten further than we ever have with any other with any other pre-built computer that I've had, which is one. Yeah, I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of nervous at the same time. All right, let's hit this power button one time.
Bruh. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you, this would happen to me. Y'all saw the last scene where I was like, all right, let's turn this bitch on. Nothing happened, right? I'm like, here we fucking go. All right, I gotta be prepared to be upset because this is not going the way. It, this was already going the route of the last PC that I purchased and fucking returned. Flip the power switch, on, off, on, off. Nothing's working, right? The, the, the computer, the RGB inside doesn't even turn on. Like, oh, all right, don't get frustrated, don't get frustrated. Give NZXT the opportunity to like, resolve a problem for you before you get mad because really the main the main criticism that I have uh, or had of Cyberpower was that after I purchased a $4,400 PC from them, $4,300, like after tax and everything, they, their customer service went to shit. Me, me, like giving them my money, they were so happy to take it. They were like, oh yeah, we'll get you the higher monitor. Oh yeah, you wanna upgrade to 4K for, or you wanna upgrade from one to one four, to 1440p instead of 1080? I was like, yeah, yeah, just charge me the difference. Okay, got you. The moment I get the computer and shit's going wrong, silent nothing happens right so i'm like all right that was your main criticism of cyber power at least give nzxt the opportunity to try to troubleshoot what was happening so i go on their website i go to their chat feature six and it tells me the queue so i'm number six so i'm like all right at least i know where i'm not at i'm not on hold for three hours like i was with with cyber power so i finally get to the chat i get to the chat my homeboy jack comes on and he's like yeah oh my bad something could have shifted during you know during transit what have you he's like try this try this open it up and he's like send me pictures of what you're looking at so i know what's going on he's like check the con check the components show me underneath the computer open it up from the back side and show me the power the power supply and he's like it looks like one thing in there is incorrect and by the way this is him like i send him the picture he circles what to do sends it back to me and i'm like all right this is this is better at least i can feel good that we're trying to resolve something so i open it send him a picture he's like yeah it looks like something's disconnected my apologies but some things sometimes do happen in transit it's simple and Enough to pull the power supply out just pull it out with the screwdriver unplug it plug that thing back in and, and turn it back on he's like I think that would solve the problem I'm like all right give me a second three minutes do it real quick plug it back in everything turns on everything's working perfectly we got Windows licensing agreement he helped me he went through he went through bios with me and showed me how to uh, showed me how to speed up my RAM memory to what I paid for and it's just all solid so far PCs up and running look at that damn son that is fire super fire so i'm gonna set this pc up give me a second i'll do the little trend dude, like the little trend the cut transition with the bars and tone and then we're gonna talk about the specs that I actually have in this one because this one happens to be more specked out than the last one that i had all right ladies and gentlemen we finally yo i'm like so happy right now we finally got a goddamn pc in this house working like yo three months three months since i ordered my first pc got it sent it back to cyber power got it back again still not working sent it back ordered the ordered the nzxt computer out of that entire timeline that i just gave you the nzxt was only a week of that but i am i am proud to say ladies and gentlemen i am the owner i am the owner of a pc son i am the owner of an nzxt fully pre-built fully working Two monitors. We're finally we're downloading some cold, we're, uh, some cold War right now. I can finally talk about the specs on this computer. So let's talk about the specs in here because it's the case is obviously directly from NZXT. They built the it's, it's their own hardware. So the H710i in white. CPU cooling. NZXT Kraken X73. It's their biggest water cooled or, or liquid cooled cooler that they have. Motherboard, Asus Republic of Gaming X570 Crosshair 8 Hero. The RAM, G-Skill Trident Z RGB 3200 megahertz, 32 gigabytes, two sticks of 16. I, I was gonna go four sticks of eight, but I wanna be able to upgrade to 64, so I didn't wanna take up those other slots. Then we have the hard drives, two Seagate Barracuda, two terabytes, so four terabytes total for the standard hard drives. Two, I got two M.2s in here. One one is a Western Digital 500 gigabyte, and the other one is Samsung 970 Evo Plus one terabyte. Power supply, XPG core reactor 850. And then the reason you're all here for the actual brains and power of the computer, CPU AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, 12 core 3.7 gigahertz, and then the GPU, the Mac daddy of it all. 
NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 PNY Revel Epic X. And I'm already way satisfied with the speed of NZXT, with the customer service of NZXT. But another thing that I'm just like over the top, like I wasn't even expecting this, is their NZXT cam. I don't know if you know if you can see it. We got the PC monitoring. So obviously CPU, GPU, yada yada performance. We got system specs, all of the specs that I just listed off to you. This is the one that I was really looking at, was the lighting. So right now, obviously the lighting's white, right? We can actually change all of that right here. So you don't have, it's not like a physical button, it's just all software based. So right here, this is the actual, this is the case lighting. Right now we have it fixed on white, but you can go like super rainbow, and then it goes super rainbow down here. And then if we want to go, let's say we don't want to do that. All right, let me we'll leave that super rainbow, but we want the ring. We want the ring on the cooler to be a different color, a fixed color. And then let's just change that ring to green. So now everything changes in color except for the ring where it says NZXT right there. We can do this like a rainbow pulse thing. Oh yeah, we vibing now. It looks like we in the. It looks like we're in the fucking. Uh, we're in the tunnel in Willy Wonka. Now I understand, now I get the hype behind RGB. I never got it before, but I fuck with it now. Needless to say, I am super, super impressed with the customer service from NZXT. I'm super impressed with the speed. I'm super impressed with the, with the packaging, the delivery, everything about it. Everything is like a complete 180 of an experience from what I had the first time, and I should have just went with them the first time. But either way, you live and learn, you take your licks, you take your L's, and you learn. So if someone's asking me, where do I recommend? obviously in ZXT. But I'm so hyped that we finally got our computers, ladies and gentlemen. I say our computer because it because it really is. It's my computer, obviously, that y'all guys supply the money and paid for, but it's it's our community. It's our it's our channel. It's my channel, but y'all are the part, y'all are the third fam. And I, I don't say that lightly. Like y'all, y'all are just as integral part of my life, especially now that I rely on y'all for, for living. Like y'all are just as important as the first and the second fam. So I'm excited to see where we go from here. I'm excited to get to streaming. I'm excited to get to games. I'm excited to get to edit with the 3090 in there. I'm yo, I'm 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 just pumped for it all, you know? Shouts to NZXT. That's it, I guess. Catch y'all on Twitch. Peace.